the 90s. From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They are set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Buffalo Bills. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. And no run back here on the opening kickoff as we'll start at the 25. Bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On the give, this is Singletary. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They'll try and run for this with Singletary. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Singletary, they'll run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that is caught, but he will come down out of bounds, says the side judge, incomplete. Certainly appeared like they had a great chance of that turning into a touchdown, but maybe led him just a bit too much. Yeah, out of the back of the end zone. And that's tough on a five-yard pass, but one of that distance, that can be tough to gauge when you're in the back of the end zone. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Throwing again on second and ten. Mahomes. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away.
The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. Mm -hmm. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. <laughs> so now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Now a pass hauled in downfield. 30, 10, and all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 73 yards, and the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Bass, up and good, and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, a run with Edwards Alaire. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this one is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Mahomes and the offense staying out there. They'll go for it on fourth. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. And going deep for Hill. This is caught inside the 15. And he is down deep into Buffalo territory. From their own territory, an incredible play on fourth down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire, a 10 yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second and 11. Check Mike, check Mike. Allen. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Flushed out right. They try it for Sanders, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Legereus Sneed. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. 53, Mike, 53. Hey, here we go. Watch the, watch the pass. Watch the pass. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And going deep for Hill. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 30 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Butker is on target, and it's now 21 to seven. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear me. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Melvin Ingram dropping the hammer off the edge. A give, Singletary right side. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. They'll get four back there on the run, but now they're looking up at a third and 12 situation. Here's Allen. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Allen now on first down. Flush to his right. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Gotcha, 
Now Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. Now Allen. And finding Emmanuel Sanders here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. You're not leaving, are you, bro? All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do the same thing, too. I'm about to go to work in, like, an hour. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coach's two-minute drill. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. On the handoff, it's Singletary. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. On second down at four, Allen. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Allen from the gun on third down, rolling to his right. Now that's complete to Sanders. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You gotta make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Bills go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. As they'll take over with just under a minute left to play. On first down, Mahomes escaping the pressure right. He'll get five out of the scramble, hit second down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Working with second and five now. Defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. 
Here's Mahomes to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And going deep for Hill. And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 77 yards. And the Chiefs strike quickly here for six points. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Flushed out right. Oh, now he'll try and chuck it deep left side. And that's caught inside. Get the fuck out of here. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd. That damn Beasley, bro. That's my guy, though. I play with the Bills all the time. I'm just playing with people different right now. Just outside the 30. Throwing now is Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Operating from the red zone now, Allen. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Quarterbacking 101. Never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you just don't want to force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. Second and 10. And again, it's Allen. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. That's, that, that's Hitchens right there. You can't throw Hitchens away, man. You should know that. I don't even know who that even is. I don't play with this team, but still. Really knocking on the door for a touchdown inside the red zone. You're actually thinking points. No matter what, at worst, you're thinking kicking a field goal and getting three. We might look back on this in the second half and say, you remember when they didn't get points on that drive? This could cost him. And he'll just get rid of it. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah, Mike, 58, right there. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Here's second and ten. Now it's <laughs> you saw about to have it. If they hurry, we'll see. Oh, okay, all right, but pass on first down that leads to a second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And he's in for the touchdown. That is Tyree. <laughs> Holy shit. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead a little added cushion. Oh, shit. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? That's because I motioned the dude out. That you because all right. So the thing with that play is, is that yeah, it's a man and everything, but it's easily exposable if you um, have that crosser like that. But if you have the guy on the out on the outside, if you motion him outside, it pulls that middle coverage. This is the NFL. Audio Sports. 
Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead. It's all right. It's, you say it's about, it's about to go to work, right? This is this is your morning coffee. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. Oh, shit. Damn. God damn. Are you alive? <laughs> The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. <laughs> and the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. 49 to Mike. They're going to need some therapy after this. 49. 49 guys, Mike, Mike, 49. From the 27, Mahomes. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Mahomes now to throw. And going deep for Hill. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 73 yards. And the Chiefs come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. I play with three teams. Well, I play with mostly one team. I play with Buffalo as my main. And then I play with Green Bay. And then I'll dabble with uh, Kansas City. But I don't like to play with Kansas City a lot because of Tyreek. Like, he's just, he's the entire offense. From his end zone, yeah, for real. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Yeah. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. If that was Harmon, oh, what is this? What is this? Hammer in. If that was Harmon, that should have probably been picked up. Hey, sure, really yeah, will they make up for it? Second and five now. Allen. Out to the left. He's got his tight end Knox. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard. Hold on, bro. You know how come here and say hi? Oh my goodness, no, uh, I got COVID. You got COVID? No, I got COVID. Let me know. Anymore? You've been there for a minute. Uh, Alright. What's up, what's up, people? Um. Hold on, I'm on Saturday. Alright, if, you, if you're gonna. I'm going to Alright. Alright, my bad, bro. Hey, you calling my D line? Shit. I don't know, man. Ain't nobody sick. Are you good? Uh, Julian's at school. Back there. They all back there. Uh, they know if you're coming. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he pushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the enemy territory. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Here's Allen on first and 10. This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. A gain of eight there on the play, and it'll be second down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. Oh, going for Sanders downfield. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. 
they've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now Mahomes. Flush to his right. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll be out of bounds. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And thanks to the interception, the Chiefs offense cashes in with six. Butker on for the PAT. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. I tried it, bro. I tried it. I had to. <laughs> I'm scratching my head a little bit here, trying to make sense of what I just saw. Number one, huge lead. Just kick the extra point and be done with it. Number two, if you are going to go for two, just line up and go for it from the two-yard line. Why make it so difficult? That's a long way to go to try and pick up some points. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Singletary. As he's got oh, my, oh, my Lord. What was all that tackling just now? Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They go right back to Singletary, and he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out that heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Melvin Ingram picks up his second sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. Now he'll escape to his left. Got some real estate inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. Now in third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. That's rough right there. See this defense. At this rate, you're just having fun out there right now. Jay, come here, Bubba. Come here, Mommy. No one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. And that's caught inside the 30. And they are gonna score that's crazy. And that's exactly why I don't play with Kansas City. <laughs> well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. 
right after a turnover. You count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. McKenzie returning it. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Dancing to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I'll tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Oh, yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. To throw again on second down, Allen. And now here is another. Oh, my goodness. Oh my God. Oh my God. For you and I, we want to close games, games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this at Moose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it from week to week, and be able to execute like this in all the rest of their games. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. <laughs> don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And my goodness, another interception. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. That is just... I, I think I... I don't, man. Yet another mistake after the interception there. Guys, you look up at the scoreboard. They just got to be... I think I owe you an apology or something right now. I don't even know anymore. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit... You're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously... Yeah, I think you deserve it. You deserve to run it back. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's on. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah. If anybody that I've played, I think you're the only one that deserves a run back. A win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of... I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Flushed out right. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. 
I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some Dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Mike Hughes. And he'll take this oh my god. I was trying to get it done. I was trying. Lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he'd won a Heisman Trophy in college. So sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career. But when you're talking about one game, seven. You're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer, the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. They're going deep for Hill. And that's going to be GG, bro. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from K.